Welcome back! In the previous part, Tracti got burned and then somehow got fixed and everything was okay again. Anyway, we got a witch report somehow. Is this going to be another puppet show? Here we go. This is the story of a terrible demon who lived in the forest. Once upon a time, there were two brothers who were slaves to a greedy demon. The demon forced them to do hard, grueling work. Yeah, what's he gonna get rid of this time? It could have used its magic to easily finish the work, but the demon enjoyed making the brothers suffer. The brothers knew that one day, the demon would kill them. The brothers set fire to a house where the demon's precious son lived. The demon had a son? They planned to use the blaze to lure the furious demon and push it down the well. When the demon saw the burning house, he quickly leapt inside. So far, so good on the plan. And the demon never came back out. Oh. Happiness had finally come to the brothers. They lived the rest of their days in peace. No, this isn't dark enough. What happens? Where's the bad stuff coming? Or did they? Oh. The demon said, Idiots! Do you think you can kill me with fire? But the demon did not die. Humans cannot defeat evil. The demon said, I'm through with you both! I'm gonna eat your bodies and souls! The boy's bones went crunch, crunch. The demon's lips went smack, smack. Okay, so they're definitely dead this time, right? The poor brothers were eaten by the demon. Okay. The forest trembled as the demon's roars echoed through the night. And so ends this story of a terrible demon who lived in the forest. The end. Yay! What a lovely story! What? That was a great puppet show, Madam Tronia! Oh yeah, I'm sure all the kids enjoyed that one. Luca, hurry up and get ready. We're heading out for a while. Huh? We are? Is that safe? Do I look scared to go out? We're just going outside town. Come along. Y yes Off in the distance stands a peculiar-looking hut. You see that hut over there? I didn't think she'd come in such an eyesore. That hut? Madame Baba lives there! How did her hut get here? Did it walk? That would be impressive, wouldn't it? Or maybe it's sort of like, like one of those little ones you can have, like, like a portable atelier or something like that. Yes, actually. Beneath that vile hut is a set of giant chicken legs that it uses to walk. Can, um... Can we see that? Though, I suppose it's not going anywhere now. No, of course not. Luca begins walking towards the hut, and Dronya stops her. Wait, Luca. Stand back. Dronya begins moving her finger through the air, as if drawing a symbol on some unseen canvas. 
O oh, Thief Ward, ever vigilant, thy master hast finally returned, and now thy watch has ended. Like Jon Snow. For a moment, reality seems to fold in on itself before shattering in a dazzling display of light and wind. Wow! Well, what did you do? Did you break a spell? That's right, I disarmed a trap. If you had triggered it, it would have transformed you into a spider. Oh. It's a powerful trap, courtesy of Baba herself. But with her gone, the trap is not nearly as effective. So what was Baltini? Y you're gonna get in trouble, Madame Dronia. If Madame Baba finds us, she'll punish us. <laughs> Wait here. If anything happens, just shout real loud. Got it? Still, if Baba placed a trap this far from her hut, I guess she didn't care who got caught in it. Johnny keeps her guard up as she approaches the hut alone. Okay, it's actually a walking hut. Huh. Huh. Hey, Baltini. I know you're here. Come out. <sighs> Fine. If you don't come out, I'll burn this hut to the ground. Baltini the third descends from the ceiling. Smart move. I know you don't remember how I saved your life, but I still can't believe you would betray me. You saved my life? I have no recollection of that. Madame Baba told me she would restore my memories in exchange for updating her on your progress. Hmm. Playing both sides, huh? Precisely. I mean, you have to respect that. No one can restore your memories. Not even Baba. I know that for a fact. All magic has a price. I told you as much in your past life. Not that I expect you to remember. Anyway, I've settled my score with Baba. She's gone now. I understand. I will not hold this betrayal against you as long as you obey me from now on. I want you to continue to serve me. I think that arrangement would be in everyone's best interest. I think it would please Isara, too. Wherever she is. Isara? A twinge of sadness flashes across Dronya's face, but she quickly regains her composure. Well, I'm ready to put your betrayal behind me. Unless you've been feeding me false information. Of course not. Then I'd like to administer a little test, Baltini the Third. Dronia's eyes glow an eerie pink. I have not reported any false information. I have only reported the truth. Understood. Then let's search the hut. Dronia makes her way to the back of the hut and begins searching. It's not here. Or here. Damn it! Where did she hide the key she took from me? Maybe Madame Baba had it with her. That's not possible. I searched her body. Maybe she gave it to Funa. Or one of her other apprentices? Who would she even trust? <laughs> None of them. Dronya continues her search. Even after searching every drawer, cupboard and closet, and scouring every nook and cranny, Dronya still could not find the key. Damn it! I can't find it! It's clearly in the labyrinth again. At that moment, a magic message slips through the crack of the front door. Madame Tronia. Huh? Tronia looks back at the floating message and plucks it out of the air. The message bears Funa's insignia and is explicitly addressed to Baba Yaga. Funa? What does it say? Madame Baba Yaga, I have contacted all 24 witches. The first to arrive will be there in seven days. Seven days? In ten days. The witches will be assembled outside of Refrain. Why? 
When the second key is found, I will dismiss Dronia and take the Tractatus de Monstrum. I await your further orders. What the hell is this? This is bad. Really bad. Even with Baba gone, if they all come to refrain, it's going to ruin everything. Should I ambush them? Uh, take them out one at a time? No. Once the first arrive, they'll all know about Baba's death. And they'll slowly torture me to death as revenge for killing her. I, I can't fight them on my own. Madam Dronia. Dronia stumbles as she leaves Baba's hut. Madam Dronia, are, are you okay? She got a very upsetting letter. Seeing Dronia stumble, Luca runs over to her to try and help her from her he to, to, to her feet. Oh dear. Madam Dronia, you're going to get in trouble for going in there without permission. You will. The key wasn't in there. Uh, maybe we can get by with just the one. No, it's too dangerous. First things first, I need to find the other key. If I find the last one within seven days, I'll have two keys. From there, I can try to find the key Baba took from me. Huh? Two keys? If Madam Baba has one... And Tracty's got to find the second one. That doesn't add up. Exactly. Won't you still be missing a key? I've had the other key since before we arrived here. What? Well, technically I hid it somewhere. So I don't have it at the moment. What? <sighs> is it Luke? Is Luca the key? M Madam Dronia? Um... I never asked you, but with the three keys, with the power to grant any wish. It's going to be Luca being the key, isn't it? What are you going to wish for, Madam Junia? I, I remember something about her parents. Oh, there was something. Uh, are you going to heal your leg? Oh, no, no, no. She has something else in mind. The power to grant any wish, eh? <laughs> that power couldn't possibly exist. It's just a fairy tale. You always have me, Madam Junia. I'll be your leg. I'll help you with everything. I'll help you, so... Just give the keys back to Madam Baba, and let's go back home. Back to our house on the hill in Meerut, please! <laughs> you mean surrender the keys to Baba and give up? Don't be ridiculous. And why would I take care of a little snot like you? I intend to return to the kingdom and resume my duties as a court witch. Don't get used to us living together. Once I find all the keys and achieve my goal, you and I go our separate ways. Ah, oh, but... but it's Luca. Huh. You... you're right. <laughs> Oh, I just want to give her a big hug. Sorry, I got ahead of myself. <laughs> hm. Anyway, we don't have much time until the other witches come. There's a ritual I need to perform before I can recover the key I hid. We need to begin preparations right away. Tracti, I need you to get the items we need for the ritual. Time is of the essence, so be quick about it. Dronya ordered Tracti to go underground and bring back a magic cane and sweet syrup. Didn't I get the Vorpal cane? Find sweet syrup and a magic cane for Madame Dronya's ritual. So, the question is, where do I get the syrup from? Because I'm sure I already have the cane, so let's go back then. Um, hmm... That's the top. I'm going to leave the top on there. That's the fifth floor. Let's go. Let's, 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 let's just have a look and see where we're meant to go. Now, loading. Because as far as I remember, we like, I'm just trying to think where it would line up with the story. It's like, I'm assuming it's just when we've been speaking to Alice since she turned into the maggot. In, like, what's that one? I don't remember seeing that one. 
So, where, where do we go from there? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. That, that definitely appeared after the maggot incident. Incident. Let's go back to. Hmm, where should we go? Let's go back to Fifa. Fifa. That's probably the best plan of action. That's the thing that seems to make sense to me. So it's like we've just done Alice. We don't know where Alice went. I assume underground, just because of the map, basically. Sort of reveals where things are, etc., etc. Because that exclamation did appear at that point. So I'm just trying to remember where exactly I've got to go in here. Do -do -do. Go there. Get that. Gets us some reinforcements again. We will be needing them. Okay, so... Still feels wrong that, like, I got screwed over with exploration because the game crashed. It's like, oh, god damn it! it was so nice! I had everything explored, it was just like, oh... I hate when stuff like that happens. Oh, of course, fight. Another battle? Another battle. A good formation. It is. Yeah, but... Witness the power of Donum. It's like there, if I spam X, it does it really fast. Yes. It's better than just waiting around that little bit extra time, isn't it? In here. Ding. Okay, so just trying to remember exactly where to go. That's the thing. It's like, oh, if the map was fully explored, it'd be a lot easier, game. I think it's this way? No. Because we're trying to go up to the top of this tower now, aren't we? Normally we go the other way, because we're trying to get over to Alice's tower. But we don't want that this time. Okay, just remembering where to go in here. Okay, so do 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 Easy enough. Fight! Fight! With all your might! Uh -huh. I like these bunny ones, by the way. Ones that are in the middle there. Spam, 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 spam. Just constantly no pressing X here now. Go. Do, 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 do. Well, it's not bad in terms of XP, really, is it? Should have really got that mana while I was there, but no, but no, uh, no. Uh, we'll go through here clearly because I can see on the map that I've been that way before. I don't want to go that way up there. Oh, didn't expect you to come this way. Let's just do normal attacks. That should be enough to take them out. Understood. Like even with spamming X, it's like it's still on to the next one. It's still slow. Okay, so down here. I suppose that way would actually make more sense, wouldn't it? Just go down there. Rather than through walls. Are we at the top yet? Not sure. Um, I don't see any other stairs, so I'm guessing yes. I mean, I could have just checked the, the map name. Umbra Trop. Trop? Yep, Trop. It's apparently his name now. Two witches servants standing in front of a large gate. Who are you? Where do you think you're going? A woman's voice comes from beyond the large gate. Hmm? Oh, I don't mind granting them an audience. Let them pass. Yes, this again. A giant woman studies your party while she eats skewers of meat. You stand in the presence of Grand Duchess Furfur. Ah, oh, good, don't you? So, you lot of magical creatures, eh, aren't you? We've met before. Whippers Lash Cracks. I keep, I keep saying his name wrong. Whippers. Nye. Grand Duchess, do not talk with your mouth full. Such a nuisance, but I don't mind. Not when you fill my immortal body with such pleasure. I had a joker card in your possession, illustrated with ink made from the powder of a blue stone. But the card is gone now, which means you returned Alice to his maggot form. And he is no longer immortal. Now I control both Stern and Velt. I want to ask what sort of negotiations transpired over there. <laughs> but you do have my gratitude. Between his senate and his Alice knights, 
It's not easy to get close to him. I suppose we're finished here. Whippers lash cracks. Nyeh. You mustn't forget the reward. Your Highness, unpaid labor breeds contempt, you know. Yes, yes, but could you not whip my nipples so hard next time? As for your reward, perhaps you should take this with you. It will undo the seal that binds the antechamber deep beneath Sonne. That's this place. You obtain the serpent key. Now you can undo the seal on the gate that leads to the antechamber. But that's not all. Do you want ultimate pleasure, strength, eternal youth, power, riches beyond your wildest imagination? Or would you prefer all of me instead? Um, I'm going to go with the riches, so thank you very much. Hmm, are you saying you have no desire at all? Some may say that's a virtue, but I believe there's nothing more suspicious than one who lacks desire. Still out of respect for your service thus far, I will allow you to live. Give them their just reward. As you wish. The courtesans present you with many treasures. You receive 100,000 silver coins, five treasure barrels. Fantastic. You receive so many items, and they're all legendary. No way! I'm going to my quarters to sleep. I'm certain we'll never see each other again. We probably will. Do not return unless you wish to die. Then again, that may be the best reward you could ever receive. <laughs> Basting her heavy frame, the Grand Duchess trundles away. You leave the area. How do you get out of the room? Obtain the serpent key. Yep, yep, yep. Splendid cape. Oh, we're going to get loads of stuff, aren't we? Okay, so... She did say something about the Serpent Key, so I'm assuming now we head down there and that's actually how we get there. So, we want to... I can't remember how to get there now, though. How do I get there? I think it's in the Alice bit, isn't it? I can't remember at all now. Because if I teleport there to the fifth floor, you can see I've got a, a portal there. I can just trundle down myself and get all the way down to there again. But I've been there before, but I can't see where the, the stairs go. Oh, it's because it starts from the top. That's the problem. Is there any other way of getting down there? Because there's the way over there. Is there any way of getting down there from the first floor in the north tower? That, that would be nice, wouldn't it? It's probably not. So it's like, I've got to go down from the fifth floor again. That's probably the best way. Okay, so let's get out of here. So let's use the witch's bell. I, I do want to use the witch's bell, yes. Okay, 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 okay. I hear the darkness calling. Oh, do you? Oh, very well. Okay, so now we want to go to the fifth floor. We'll put another little mud teleporty thingy down. Because obviously, this is a level up location. I'd like to get here quite Easily, if I can. Okay, so plan is to just get down and see if we can get to that event quickly. Okay, I think this is it. Don't know what that event is over by, over there, by the way. I've not checked. Might be relevant, but it might be a super hard boss or something like that. I don't want to face a super hard boss. Not at this point. Later, I believe they're actually required for the um, true ending, so we'll have to eventually do them. Okay, so if we go that way, we're going to fall down. So, let's do that. Because it worked before, apparently. Okay, second floor. So far, so good. That's up, isn't it? I, I did that before, didn't I? I'm sure I did that before. Whereas I did that instead. Let's like go for that. I know there's a door, but screw it. Right, so we should be in the right location now. Here we go. Here we go. Right, so we want to try and head towards where we're meant to use a separate key. So this is the point where I'll actually get the map up again. Aha. Uh -huh. So we do have to get over to that location. But as to how I get to that location, it's quite difficult. Okay, so still go that way. Nope, I want to go forward. Okay, so through the wall, through the wall again. Okay, this is the point where it's like, I need to be north 
of this. Switch, you say? Oh. See, that's the bit I don't know. Is that a switch? Uh, oh, I was just blood on the wall or something like that. Hmm. I don't know where the switch would be. That's the only problem. Oh, hello. I expect you to randomly turn up, did I? Fly things, let's just do this. Let's have a look, see if I can find out where the key is while we're doing this fight. Look, look on the interwebs. Incoming! <laughs> I mean, we got the serpent key. Apparently, we want twenty-one, twenty-four is what we're after. That's where the switch is. And then we should be fine. Here I go. Nope, forgot about the spamming buttons. Okay, so twenty-one. Let's have a look here. Twenty-one. 24. We're very close to it. We just need to go up a bit. And it's through here. Ish. Somewhere. That other side, round here. There it is. Okay, so we should be able to proceed now, right? There's such a maze in this place. Have I been here? This is where I just came in. Ah! Madness this place. Madness, I say. We'll have that. Because that'll make my reinforcements go back up. Alright, uh, yep, we do want that way. There we go. Lovely. Okay. So we're heading across here now. We're definitely having that, because assume it's relevant. Ugh. This place has definitely changed. Okay. Where are we? Ah, we've gone too far up. Oh, hello. I didn't actually expect to get, get into a fight with you guys. We'll just do that again. Sure spamming X once again. That so happy I figured out the spamming X rather than the holding X. Shameful. People have said to me in the past that like, holding X works. It's like it doesn't for me. Unless there's something wrong with my controller or game. I don't know. Don't know. Don't know. Okay, so let's see. So it's just a bit... Just like, it's such a maze in here. It's like, ah, especially because we can't properly uncover the map. Okay, so let's let's look at the time here. I'm probably actually going to end this part here then at this point. In the next part, we'll see what this event is all about. So until then, we'll be seeing ya. Bye-bye. That was a weird outro.